so hi everyone today we will be discussing about partial dependence plots that is uh, pdps uh, for interpreting uh, any machine learning model be it a white box machine learning model or a black box machine learning model uh, so basically partial dependence plots uh, are an agnostic method agnostic by agnostic we mean that they are universal methods so that they are not method dependent they are not algorithm dependent they can be implemented on any algorithm to interpret uh, its outcome so let's understand what are the basic uh, steps that are getting followed in a pdp for calculating a pdp so first of all we will uh, try to understand how to calculate the partial dependence and then we will be plotting that partial dependence to form the partial dependence plots so assume that we have this uh, particular uh, sample data set with us uh, training data set which has four columns a, a b c d and a target uh, that is binary class that is a binary class now eventually uh, to calculate a pdp first of all we need to train the uh, required model the uh, the model that we wish to interpret uh, be it neural network be it a uh, decision tree whatever the model that we wish to train on a training data set now the next assume that uh, out of all these features i wish to know the impact of feature a on the prediction made by the model x okay uh, assuming this what we would be doing is that we would replicate the entire training data set for m number of times where m is the total unique values present in the feature of interest a so for example uh, assume that in the training set we have 100 samples and a has 10 unique values so we would be having uh, 10 cross uh, uh, 100 uh, samples in the new data set that we have created in the replica that we have created that is 1000 samples now what we were doing is that for each replica set that we have created so we have created we have replicated the data set 10 times right so for each replica we will be assigning one unique value to the entire data set to the entire replica so one uh, the first replica will have first unique value of a the second replica will have the second unique value of a you're getting my point so the entire data so like one by one all the unique values are getting assigned to the entire data set right now what we will be doing is that uh, with the trained model we will getting the prediction for the up sample data set that we have created in the previous step now for each unique value uh, where we have replicated the entire data set we would be averaging out the output so for uh, for uh, so as we have 1000 samples you remember uh, 110 uh, for all the 100 values where we have a particular a value constant a value we would be averaging that value uh, to get the final output that would be the partial dependence that we have calculated for a and then we will be plotting this unique value for a and that's it so uh, uh, like summarizing everything you need to train a model then you need to replicate your data set x number of times where x is the total unique values of the feature of interest so if it has two values you will be replicating it twice if it has three unique values you will be replicating the data thrice now for the new data up sample data set that we have created you need to uh, get predictions for, uh, for it for the trained model and eventually for each unique value of uh, the feature of interest you need to average out the prediction made by the model uh, so it can be the case that like for uh, for some value of a uh, assume uh, for value a equals to 10 we have uh, 40 uh, 40 samples as 0 and 60 samples as 1 so the average would be 0.6 right uh, similarly you can check out uh, other uh, for other values you will be calculating for average uh, the average value for each unique value of a now uh, this is the entire method uh, in python we have a very easy implementation of pdps uh, where there is a library present called as pdp box so we'll be using that so in, in the example you can see that i have trained a, a svm model on some date on the above data set that i mentioned uh, this is the code that i'm following uh, basically uh, this is uh, this uh, blog link i will be providing in the description below so you can go through the codes and understand now we'll be looking at the output so you can see that how pdp for feature feature a you can see that how as value for a increases the prediction moves from 0 to 1 so it shows that as the value of a increases the prediction moves from 0 to 1 for pdp b you can see that uh, b is not playing a major role in the prediction so whatever the value of b may be it is not playing a major role in the prediction similarly for c but if you look for pdp for feature d again you can see that as the value is increasing uh, the prediction moves from 0 to uh, 0 to 1 so you can